Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Ignore the mess in the background. We are trying to do a little bit of sort of like a mini makeover today. There's a couple things I want to do. I thought I would film it because even though it's not a full bedroom makeover, I, I tend to enjoy watching this kind of stuff. So I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy watching it as well. Pretty much we're just like doing the bed area. Like I want to get new sheets. I want to get new headboard. I want to kind of edit the filming area backdrop. Not a complete overhaul like I said and this isn't a room tour but it's like a mini makeover. A little hack in, in it as well. I don't know. Let's uh Let's see what we can do. So first things first is to show you what we're working with. This used to be much nicer when there were like plants everywhere. However, there isn't anymore. So we want to redo, this is essentially where my bed sits. One of the first things that we have to do is paint this wall because my fault, I only decided to secure this with one of these clips and I should have secured it the whole way around because it ended up rubbing on the wall. So we're gonna take this down and get rid of this headboard because we're gonna get a new one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to paint this. So first things first is to get everything away from the wall so we can do that. Okay, so we have moved everything. I'm gonna clean down in that area before I put everything and paint everything. However, I'm gonna take this shelf down because I think I'm gonna put like a hat and like a poster here or something because this is kind of like the backdrop where I filmed. So let's take these babies out. Just to show you like how messed up this wall is. I figure we might as well. So if you were to do that DIY that I did, securing it to the wall is like super, super key. But now we have a couple holes in the wall and I just because this is gonna be in the background of my videos, I'm gonna fill them. So I'm gonna get um, a little sandpaper, sand that down a bit, and then we're gonna fill in the holes. If you ever need to do this, it's pretty simple. This is just like the bottom of a water bottle. Then I have some plaster, um, drywall plaster. I just got a bunch from my dad a while ago gonna take a little bit into there we don't probably need that much but just for the sake of showing you then you want to mix this to be a little bit thicker than peanut butter so I'm gonna add in some water and I'm wearing a glove to mix it cause I'm gonna mix it with my finger um, because this stuff is just a biatch to get out of your fake nails so I'm gonna add some water you can do it as slow as you want so that you don't get it too thin so if you see there we go it's a good consistency just sanding that because it like stuck out where the nail was as you can see like that one just sticking out of it and then I'm just gonna take some of our mixture have way more than I need on my hand this is much harder to do with gloves on but not making the mistake I made last time so while I wait for that to dry so I can sand it I'm just gonna start cutting the wall with paintbrush I'm gonna paint this white it's gonna look so good <laughs> Just gone ahead and sanded it down, and uh, yeah, we have a, a filled hole. I'm gonna just show you guys how to do these ones, super easy. So what we're working with is I originally saw this headboard right here on urbanoutfitters.com. Um, so it's, I guess, sold out because on the website it says the product is no longer available, which really made me upset because they posted this and then, yeah, it's no longer available. So, but I really kind of liked how it was like really loose here and then it got a little bit tighter in the middle. So... I went on the hunt trying to find some other ones. I went on Google and there's lots of different like headboards like this. Um, I found this one. I really kind of liked the square look to it. Yeah, I wanted something that was pretty simplistic. So I couldn't find anything online that I was like super 
in love with like things like this, this is a little bit too much for me I want something a little bit simpler so I went to Ikea and on Ikea's website they have this and essentially what this is is it's a coffee table now it's 63 inches the average size of a queen bed is 60 inches so this is gonna work absolutely perfectly it looks like this I'm not sure about the color it looks a little bit light but we might stain it um, I just want to be able to see it in person first and I was looking if you go to the documents page and I wanted to see if underneath it there's this like little piece right here I wanted to see if this whole top piece was its own piece and it actually is you can see building it there and then you attach it so this whole piece is actually its own piece so I'm thinking we're gonna use this for headboard and we're gonna either stain it or not stain it what I love is that IKEA is readily available so let's let's upcycle this so to speak it's a, it's pretty expensive to be honest it's about I'm um, going to be a $250 headboard, but I figure that's what I was going to spend anyways. And um, going back to the Urban Outfitters one, I kind of like that this one is, this Ikea one is square. Um, I kind of like that a little bit little bit better than this. I saw this one online. Um, it's on like Kijiji, which is kind of like a site that you can buy and sell on, but it's only for a double. And that was really the only one on like Craigslist, Kijiji. So yeah, this one is very similar to this one I just showed you on Google, I find, because it's got that square. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this baby into a headboard. Okay, so this is the outcome. We have a nice clean wall, no holes. I'm really excited. So now we're going to head to Ikea to get our headboard. Okay, so here it is. This is the smaller version of it. So like I said, this we're just going to use the top of it as a headboard so i took it out of the box in the trunk just to show you guys the color and i am going to stain it because it's it's just this is super super light this is like birch so it just needs a little bit of color back into it so i've come to home depot to get some stain i'm looking at these ones mine looks like it's more of like a pine so it'd be like the bottom half of these swatches um i like this this color looks nice. Golden oak is also nice. I think I'm gonna get this one, which is this color right here. I'm also gonna get some clear polyurethane to seal it in. Okay, so I'm just starting off. We're just doing a test. I'm doing it on the back of the headboard just in case I really, really hate it. Um, it's the back of the headboard. You won't see that anyway. So I'm just taking some of that stain and applying it on the back of the headboard. I'm also applying it on the wood side right there because I want to see how it reacts with the wood because if it doesn't look good, I need to know. Then you're just waiting the required time and then wiping it off. I really didn't like what it did to that corner piece of wood. So I decided that I'm not going to actually apply it on there at all. And we're just going to do it on the other bamboo part. And I'm going to leave it on longer so it goes darker. Okay, so here is the finished outcome. I really like it, as you can tell here, like these used to be the same color, just adds a little bit of dimension back into it. I'm really happy that we did this. I think it looks really, really great. Now, next up, what I'm gonna show you, this is called a Z clip. You can see it's like a Z. Um, and this is what we're gonna use to mount these two, our headboard to the wall. So, essentially, this is going to get screwed into the wall and then the other piece is going to get screwed to the headboard. Essentially, they go together like this. So we're gonna be able to lift the headboard out and slide it in and then they will fit together like such. So we need to go ahead and attach one to the wall and one to our headboard. So you can see it is on there. This is the one that's gonna go into the wall 
and it'll basically slide in like that and this is where it will be attached into the wall. So you'll be able to take the headboard on and off really easily. I used a level I would suggest that you guys do as well. That's how I got them straight and lined up perfectly. And as you can see, they lined up perfectly. <laughs> I ordered new sheets for the bed and they just arrived. So my sheets are by Dazed But Amazed. These are flax linen sheets. Linen is just <laughs> amazing. Let's let's give a look, see? Okay, so this is the color that I got. Um, it's like a brownie orange. Um, yeah, what I really love about this is that it comes in a tote that matches the linen inside the bag. So you can like reuse that tote. Oh my God, don't you just love that? What a great little way to package um, your stuff. Because usually if it just comes in that little sheet thing, like what can you really reuse that for? You ready for comfy sheets, Oki? So here's what the new sheets look like. They are extremely, extremely comfortable. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much kind of the update on the sheet situation. I think it matches with like the headboard much nicer. It's kind of in that realm of the feel I'm going for. So yeah, I really like these really amazing quality. Um, I'm gonna link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. So I have this dog bowl holder. I got this from HomeSense. One of the dogs cannot eat near the other dog, so he eats in my bedroom. Um, and what you can basically do is you can put them wherever you want. So if you have like a taller dog, you can put them at the tallest. If you have a really little dog, you can put them more down below. Um, I kind of like having like the two separate heights. I think that kind of looks cool. And then you just take the bowl and you place it in there like such. Then we'll put the water bowl in the other one, but I thought this was matched my room pretty nice. It's by this brand. I don't really know. I've never heard of them before, but... Yeah, so I thought I'd show you. This is like a little addition. It's going to go beside my bed. This is the side table that I'm going to use. I got this from HomeSense as well. I don't shop too much at HomeSense anymore, but, you know, for some staple pieces like this, you can't really thrift this kind of stuff. Um, so this is an absolutely beautiful little side table that I got. Um, and then on top of it, I have just this tray um, for my rings and my necklaces. It's all of like the jewelry I wear on a constant basis. So those two necklaces, um, that's my promise ring from Jordan, which obviously I don't really need to wear anymore. I might, might switch hands. Maybe I'll put it on my other hand. Um, and then some earrings from Jordan's mom. And then I have this little one over here, which just has twilight, which I spray in bed every night to help me sleep. So I took this blanket that I thrifted from a vintage store and just threw that on the end of the bed. But essentially, this is what we have going on. I hung this hat on the wall because this is like the background of my video. Um, and then we have the side table over there. And then we have this chair that you guys saw in a thrift with me, which I'm still trying to figure out the whole pillow situation. But that is essentially what we have looking like right now. It's still in progress. I just wanted to show you guys kind of like the headboard hack and, and figuring this area out. So we still have a lot more to figure out. So that is it for this little addition of this room makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I feel a lot better. I definitely don't feel like the room is at all finished yet. Like I still feel like it has a lot of things that need to go like I'm not a hundred percent with the way that everything is coming together but we made some progress today so thank you for hanging out let's uh let's let's do more of this kind of stuff I like it <laughs> okay bye guys